Hi friends, I am starting an experiment to grow baby bok choy in IDU 8 pod hydroponic system. The bok choy has become new cabbage for me and it is one of my staple foods. Let's see how it works in IDU 8 pod model. I am using some off brand sponges that are compatible with IDU, Aero Garden, and many hydroponic systems. Please find the link to these sponges in the description below. I am placing two seeds in each pod and starting with all pods. Depending on the germination, I will thin out the seedlings and keep only one plant per pod. I have grown bok choy many times in many hydroponic systems and I have been very successful with it. Hopefully it will work well in IDU 8 pod model as well. That's it. The garden is ready. As always, I will add water but I will not add nutrition right away. I will start adding nutrition once I see the seedlings. This is one of my favorite tips to prevent algae growing on the sponges. I will use Maxi Grow Nutrition throughout this grow cycle. Normally I add stickers but bok choy comes really fast and cover the pods. So I am not adding stickers in this experiment. Alright, it is all set and good to go. It's been 3 days. Germination is really good. All seeds germinated except one. All these pods have two seedlings per pod. Except this one pod which has only one seedling. But that's totally fine. I just need one seedling per pod. Now that I see the seedlings, I will start adding nutrition. As I mentioned earlier, I will use maxi grow nutrients throughout this grow cycle. It's day 6. The seedlings are coming very nice and they started developing real leaves. This is really nice progress in 6 days. Now it's time to thin out the seedlings and keep only one seedling per pod. We can manage two baby bok choy plants per pod, but I prefer to grow less and get more success. That's it. Oh, here is one more. That's it. It's daytime. The seedlings are coming excellent. They all started developing multiple real leaves. They are looking so fresh, green and very healthy. In fact, these are all plants now. It's day 18. The bok choy is coming excellent. The leaves are wide, green, fresh and overall very healthy. All plants are doing excellent and producing super wide leaves. This bok choy is ready to harvest anytime from now. So I am going to start harvesting as needed. I always harvest the outer leaves so basically harvest the leaves from the bottom and they will continue to produce more leaves from the center. Look at this plant there is a lot of new development coming from the center. Same thing with all plants there is a lot of development showing up from the center so I can just harvest the outer leaves. This journey is going to go on for a really long time. This is just the beginning. Usually bok chai will go up to 3 to 4 months easily. Day 23, the bok chai is coming excellent. The leaves got even wider. I see they are turning a little bit of yellowish. So they are getting old. Now I am going to start harvesting the bok chai. It's day 27. The bok chai is coming excellent. There's a lot of bok choy ready to harvest. Unfortunately, I see this bok choy is infested with spider mites. Let me show you it in close up. Look at these nasty spider mites. So with this, I want to get rid of this garden as soon as possible. So I'm abandoning this garden and give it up. Anyways, this bok choy worked out very well in this IDU 8 pod hydroponic system. Plants are very productive and the bok choy was ready just within 20 days. These plants were doing excellent so far. 
If they are not infested with these spider mites, this crop would have gone for a couple of months. So if you like bok choy, I recommend trying this baby bok choy variety in Aidu or any other hydroponic systems. Alright, that is all for now. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.